So now, let's go for the big mama biceps, all right? You know, guys always wanna do biceps. When a girl says, let me see your arm, first thing you do is flex, all right? But let's create those arms like a true champion arms, at least somewhat like someone who knows how to train arms, okay? Let's start off first with, of course, your barbell curls. This is as basic and the best thing you can do for your biceps. You don't need to do anything fancy. I mean, I'll show you a fancy one, a good comfortable one, but why go fancy when your form is still not great? But this one, again, it's the mother of all bicep movements. You know, so I'm gonna show you how to do this one. So the barbell, again, it's always gonna be, you know, the straight bar is the easy curl bar, but right now we're doing the straight bar. Now, also on width, you wanna keep it enough who is right on your thighs. You don't wanna, you go close, is it effective? Yes, but it's just working a different head. It's working the smaller head of the bicep. We wanna work on the big head of the bicep, which is right here, the bigger head, okay? So for the bigger head, you wanna hold it yay wide, that's it. Not too wide, you're gonna start going sloppy. Again, you can change your position once you keep learning. The more experience you have, the more flexible you can be. Right now, let's start off from the beginning, all right? So right here, can I go down? Pretty much. No, curly, curly. Most people think, hey, I'm not lifting it all the way to the top. Well, a lot of times, the top does not mean it's always right, because if I go to the top, guess what? I just use my shoulders, you know? You don't wanna do shoulders. You wanna keep away from your shoulders, you wanna stay on the arm, okay? I'm gonna show you a side profile so you can see where my arm is and how high I'm going. Side profile, again, with, and I'm gonna squeeze. 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 That's just, again, that's for bicep. This is the ultimate bicep movement. It's great, can't go wrong. Can you cheat? Of course you can, but not in the beginning. Come on, people, let's get this right, you know? You know what, you're doing 10, 15 reps, the last five, the last three, you wanna throw a couple of cheap movements? Just do it, go ahead, kill yourself. But let's not start off with bad habits from the beginning, okay? So the next one I'm gonna show you, which is also one of my favorites, Concentration curls. Here we have one single dumbbell. Well, I love the single dumbbell because it was the first purchase I ever made when I bought weights. And with this dumbbell, I think I did so many, not this one in particular, of course, but the dumbbell itself. I did many, many things with them. I developed my arms, my shoulders, you know, bicep, tricep, you know, back. Single dumbbell could do a lot. But again, you don't want to misuse it, of course, because once false move, you know, first of all, you won't develop or you can get injury. Now, concentration. Why such a long name for some so-called simple exercise? Well, in this one, really, it's not just about lifting the weight. It's about becoming one with the muscle and the weight. You want to connect. You want to connect, you know? So you see people walking around, talking, and, and they just kind of, you know, hey, hey, Charlie, I'm doing, hey, hey, Charlie, you know? And they're kind of doing this. No, it's not going to work. It's impossible for it to work. Why? Because you're not making that mind-muscle connection. You got to have that connection. And that's not just with this, but also with every other exercise. There's no talking on the phone and, and doing this, you know? Let's get this shit right, man, all right? Concentration, take your time. You know, grab the dumbbell, you know? 
Mind you, the only moving part is gonna be your forearm. That's it. Nothing else move. Your back doesn't move. Your elbow doesn't move. Only the forearm muscle. And you squeeze. Go right to the top. Okay? Right to the top. You wanna give this angle. You notice my angle? Kinda of goes down like this. Well, it's, it's a reason for it. You wanna make sure that the arm you're using is lowest. You know? Let's say I change it. Let's say I, I wanna go down and stay even. Guess what? It's just not gonna work. You know, so the angle is very important. The angle is right here. Now, this is the beginning, but a little pickup will help you. You don't wanna start, you don't, you don't wanna leave it at the bottom, so it's right here, okay? Squeeze. 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 One little trick I didn't tell you, but every time at the top, you want to have your pinky. This little pinky right here has got to be a little bit higher. As soon as you turn the pinky, if you notice, you have your palm straight. When you turn your pinky, your bicep moves. It's just automatic, it's gonna turn. So you wanna do that at the same time while you're executing the exercise, okay? Again, I'm just right here at the bottom, going up, Whoa. peak, 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 peak. peak. After a while, let's say you do want to cheat, fine. Go back a little. Just go back a little. But not from the initial start of the movement, okay? Some people do it off the bench. I like doing it off the bench too sometimes. But it proves to be a slightly more difficult. Why? Because your leg is not supporting your elbow. When your leg is not supporting your elbow, it becomes a little bit more difficult. But on this one, I like it, again, because it gives me more freedom, more freedom to curl. On this one, notice, elbow doesn't move. Notice on that one, elbow wasn't all over the place. It's great. Peak for your bicep, barbell, thickness, you know. Anything else, you're just going a little fancy, but with these two, you will get the biceps you need, all right? So I don't want to neglect the forearm. The forearm is, you know, small body part. People tend to neglect it. But if you do want to do a forearms, there's always wrist curls. You know, most people do these, sitting down, these are great. Very easy, very simple. You know, anybody could do them. Definitely work on your forearms, or I'll show you behind, behind wrist curls. Behind wrist curls are great because it's both arms at the same time. It was great because, again, it's both arms, both arms. You don't want to, you want to really squeeze, really squeeze, really squeeze, really squeeze. Really squeeze. It's not good for forearms, you know. You want to get those big Popeye forearms, you know, it's great. Women shouldn't do it too much. Women don't want big forearms. It looks a little funny, but for the men, work your overall arms, okay? Now, we're gonna go down, and let's go for some legs, all right?